made it deep into the Amazon jungle. We have been looking forward to this destination for such a long time. It's such a great feeling to be so surrounded by nature. The dense jungle with all of the sounds and just the peacefulness of it all. It was also a very fun journey to get here today. So let me catch you up. This morning we took a cab to the airport. <laughs> And we met Luis at the airport and he got our tickets and got us all checked in for La Selva Lodge. Had a coffee in a lounge. We took a short 30 minute flight from Quito to Alcoca. We made it to the airport and we're greeted by our host Rodrigo. And welcome to, to Coca. Took a bus from the airport to Napo River. Took a motorized canoe from the town of Alcoca to the La Selva boat landing. Salud. 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 Ooh, we just got dropped off the motorized canoe at La Selva boat landing and now we're in this paddle canoe on our way to La Selva Lodge. Look at the the black thing on the front. Yeah. The big lizard. It's a huge predator of the bird. We just spotted our first animal. Well, we saw a blue morpho, but this is a northern caiman lizard. He's up in the trees trying to hunt for birds. What's the Fishing eagle. Catch dinner yet? Oh, almost. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Daisy. I'm Sandy. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Wow, this looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow, we just arrived. This place looks amazing. They greet you with some nice warm towels. Thank you. Woo! What a fun adventure to get here. Let's check it out. Salud. We made it. Made it to the Amazon. Oh, is it this guava in it? Mm, guava. Oh, yes. And that guava is so long. Tastes so fresh and delicious. Mm -hmm. This is fish hunting for this cheese. Wow. We have just arrived you guys we just finished meeting the whole staff here at La Selva we had our welcome drink we got to know a little bit about the lodge and we just checked into our room this place is huge it is massive we have a huge bed with like a mosquito net a beautiful sitting area and the best part always the balcony let me show you wow this balcony is huge. We have a beautiful view of the river and the sounds are wild. I almost feel like I should be whispering because I don't want to like disturb the peace. Wow, that's going to be so amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here. I just... I feel so lucky this room is humongous. It is super nice. What a fun travel day too. I'm so excited for this new adventure. So we're all settled in in our beautiful room here. And of course, in rainforest fashion, it just started raining. Time to get a coffee for a little pick-me-up. Cheers. 
this restaurant area is so nice up here. They have coffee and tea and the beautiful view. Look at the view. After that much needed coffee refresher, it's time to start our first excursion. It is 4.30 on the dot. I think we're doing a canoe ride and a night walk. So excited. <laughs> showing me these night night hawks. The hot sand night hawks. They're like nesting in the trees. They're nocturnal. So they will come out at night and eat the moss and insects. Ooh. But right now they're asleep. Getting in our first canoe ride. Here we go. So our guy just spawned a very colorful toucan. He went inside of his little nest and we waited for him to come out. And he came out, he's so much smaller than I thought he would be, but with this like huge yellow beak. And then he just flew away. Very cool. So we just saw a paiche, it gets up to nine feet, over 300 pounds, they can be dangerous, and their babies keep coming up for air. And you can see this dark shadow, it's pretty scary. Rodrigo just spotted five bats underneath this branch. They're the exact same color as the branch. I don't I don't know how he sees all of this stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know how he does it. Wild. White throated capuchin monkeys, monkey, but they're much, much bigger than the school monkeys, and they have prehensile tails. So many monkeys. So we're lucky that it actually rained because it brings the monkeys out. They're much more active. Tonight is the monkey extravaganza. We've seen three different species so far: the red howlers, and the squirrel monkeys, and the capuchin monkeys. So it's pretty awesome that La Selva Lodge works with the local community here. And our guy was just telling us back in the 1980s you could hardly see any of the monkeys. But now since the lodge is funding the local people and they're not hunting the animals as much, you guys to see a ton more of the monkeys. I love how it all circles back together. We can actually support the local people being tourists and it saves the animals and we get to see more as well. It's a win-win-win. Win-win-win-win-win. <laughs> Our guide just spotted our first caiman, our first Amazonian caiman. Black caiman, it's almost nine feet long. He said that's big enough to attack us, so we gotta be careful. You have a positive energy, friend. That's, you know, like... We always bring the good luck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, so we just heard a monster. We're heading to them. I believe they're howler monkeys, but they sound way different than I've ever heard before. <laughs> is so crazy. He said the howler monkeys become very active at like 4.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m., which it's the evening time right now, and they're marking their territory and protecting the females. It's a good 
grain ready. This is a very good bird for bird watchers, especially, you know. And it's very rare, is it? once a year. Oh, that's it? Yeah, also the population is very small. Wow, it's a beautiful bird. Yeah, that's the most colorful heron. Oh, what a fun first night, huh? <laughs> it's very rare to see those. It's like once a year. It's very, for bird watchers, it's a huge deal. Wow, man. Very lucky. So we can hear Rodrigo said that it's the Amazon bullfrog and he said they get like this big. Bigger. Bigger. We're just like paddling along and the sunset has like everything in like the most beautiful colors. So peaceful and so glad we're here. Was breasted of Ernie. I say, hey, so it's a cute thing. Oh, this is Thank you so much. You work on Tom. You were so excellent. Thank you. That was amazing. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. How about you? I'm so hungry we had a lunch on the boat earlier but I mean that was like 11 and it's like 7 30. yeah we usually eat around 5 5 30 so this Four. is late for us yeah for sure should we get wine yeah yes let me break and stuff i know and i feel like yeah, there's so many people here okay Okay, we just sat down to dinner. It looks like it's table service, so they're gonna serve us. We just ordered some wine. Um, Tommy looked at the menu. He said we're having fish for dinner, so I'm really excited. Are you excited? Heck yeah. Salud. To an amazing first day in the Amazon. Salud. For our first course, we had a choche, which is a local squash. It was stuffed with rice and like veggies, and it was like au gras. So it had like a creamy sauce with cheese on top. Really, really good start to the dinner. The one we saw out there. Yeah, the lago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> for dinner, for our main course, we're having the paichi fish, which is a big black shadow that we saw when we were out on the boat earlier. Um, okay, so we're having prehistoric fish for dinner. Let's give it a try. So the presentation is beautiful. I'm going in for the first bite, it's in some kind of coconut sauce, I believe. It doesn't smell coconutty. <laughs> okay, that's delicious, super flaky, coconut sauce is delicious, yum. Dessert has arrived, it is a crepe filled with, what is this fruit? Oh, babaco, the star fruit that we had, Tommy and I tried a juice of in Quito. And it has maracuja ice cream on top with like a raspberry sauce. Mm. Super light crepe, super refreshing dessert. This was the perfect end to a perfect day. And we will see you guys in the morning. Cheers.